Right, take 80 million. Baby. It's it must be unusual this sort of thing a woman to get to get to that stage and from what we understand from the Daily Mail which has been leading on this this story this morning she was uh, helping provide covering fire for troops fighting insurgents presumably until very recently because she's a gunner in the Royal Artillery. Yes, I mean, it must have been, been quite stressful for her but um, I was just doing a little bit of uh, searching about. Lynette Pierce, aged 28, Royal Artillery, Bombardier. Lynette is originally from Fiji and is a daughter of a former policeman in the town of Nadi. An excellent sportswoman and rose to become captain of the country's women's football team from 2007 to 2009 before leaving Fiji to fulfil an ambition to serve with the British Army. Where she attended the ATC Army Training Centre Purbright, 30 miles outside of London. ATC provides a 14-week training course known as the Common Military Syllabus, which is completed by all adult recruits aged 17 plus when they join the British Army. The course is designed to develop individual and team skills in a progressive manner, preparing recruits for their initial trade training, where they learn the specific skills for their chosen army trade. ATC Purbright delivers phase one training for the new recruits joining the Army Air Corps, Army Medical Services, Corps of Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, Corps of Royal Engineers, Corps of Army Music, Royal Armoured Corps, Royal Regiment of Artillery, Royal Corps of Signals, Royal Logistics Corps, Adjutant General and the Intelligence Corps. Here Lynette learnt about field craft, skill at arms, fitness, qualities of a soldier, military knowledge, basic casualty drills, individual health and education. After completing her basic training, she then moved to Lark Hill for her 15 week qualified gunner course before then moving on to her chosen regiment. After some time in the field army, she then deployed an Op Herrick 16 under command of Major General Adrian Bradshaw from May 2012 to September 2012. Before any soldier can deploy to any operational theater, they must pass pre-deployment training and pre-deployment fitness tests. This includes dental hygiene, mental health, physical training, and physical standards that need to be met by operational troops. Lynette passed all of these without any concern. After initially deploying to Afghanistan on Op Herrick 16, Lynette began to gain weight, but she was uncertain whether it was a change of food, stress or her environment. But in a hot climate, with arduous physical activity daily and long shifts, this didn't add up. Before long, she started experiencing stomach pains. Lynette then decided it was time to go to the medical bay, report sick and have it investigated. The pains were so excruciating that she felt that her appendix may have burst and the medical staff began treating her as such. After a blood test, they asked if Lynette could be pregnant, which of course she denied. She had no knowledge that she was pregnant at the time. Lynette's pains then began to worsen and worsen. At this point, the medics identified that she was bleeding profusely from her groin and the medical staff began to investigate immediately. It was only at this point that the medical staff realised that Lynette was in established labour and was giving birth. This is the first documented case of a woman giving birth on the front line in all of British and military history. Lynette gave birth to a healthy baby boy eight weeks early. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's something different, it's something new. I want to do Military Mad Lads as a, um, a new series. I want guys to recommend in the comments section down below uh, Medal of Honor recipients, Victoria Cross recipients, uh, crazy historical figures, people like that, that would make a good story. I'm trying something different. Uh, please support me on this. If you like it, hit that subscribe and that like button. And let me know down below if you don't like it either. 
Uh, any constructive criticism really helps, and I appreciate you guys.